Good morning, boys and girls. Many of you know me. My name is Mr. Bruce. You know what? I miss going to school every day, but I still come downstairs every morning at the same time. I sign on to my computer, I make a pot of coffee, and then I start my schoolwork. I have lots of work to do, and even though we're not in our school building on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are still school days. So I still go to work, just like you still go to school. Only our work and our school are now in our homes, but not forever. One thing I don't miss, I don't miss getting up at five o'clock every morning. I also don't miss ironing a shirt every day or making my lunch every day before school or every night before school. I do miss going to school and seeing all my teacher friends and the teacher assistants who care so much for you and help you to learn new things every day. I do miss seeing the secretaries who greet all the teachers and the staff as they arrive to school. I do miss seeing our principals, Mrs. McMahon and Mr. Brophy, who help out teachers and students and help keep our schools safe. I miss seeing our guidance counselors, Mrs. Florio, Mrs. Claggett, and Mrs. McDonald, who help kids when they have concerns. I miss Mrs. Natalino and Miss Moschetta, our speech therapists, who help kids with speech and language. I miss Miss Mary and Miss Ronnie, our OT and PT, who help kids stay strong. I miss seeing the custodians and the maintenance staff, who help keep our school clean and safe and in good working order. I most miss Mrs. Weiserzak and Mrs. Knock, who are my teammates on the child study team. Boys and girls, what do you most miss about school? Do you miss seeing your teachers? Do you miss seeing your friends? Do you miss reading and writing? Do you miss your technology class or your physical education class? Do you miss hanging out with your friends at lunch and recess time? What do you miss? Well, there's someone else here with me who has things that he misses too. Hold on. Give me a minute, friend. Oh, oh, oh. Most of you know my buddy Edison, or at least you've seen him walking down the halls of our school. He misses making people smile. Most of you know that Edison is a certified therapy dog, and Edison has his very own license, and he has to renew this license every year. A therapy dog is a very special companion dog who loves being around people and who helps people feel good about themselves. Therapy dogs are allowed to come to schools, hospitals, and nursing homes, and other places. Now, Edison misses seeing all his teacher friends and all his student friends. Edison misses hanging out with Mrs. Knock and Mrs. Weiserzak in our office on the second floor of the Caruso School. Edison misses when students come in to say hello to him. He misses when teachers come in to say hello to him, too. He also misses his special treats that I bring for him when he comes to school. What he doesn't miss is getting up really early in the morning to get ready to school. He has to brush his hair, lots of stuff he's got to do to get ready to come to school. Boys and girls, I have a challenge for you. And my challenge for you is for you to write down what you miss about coming to school. Maybe you can draw a picture about what you most miss about coming to school. Maybe you can label your picture or add sentences to your picture to describe what you miss about school. If you write sentences, you can answer two WH questions. First of all, write about what it is that you miss. Second, write about why you miss what you miss. So first of all, what do you miss? Write that down and then answer why you miss what you miss. I would love to see some of your artwork and sentences. And if you would like to email something that you wrote, I would love reading them and sharing them. For now, boys and girls, my wish for you is to be safe and not worry. We're all in this thing together. We really are. And it will all be over sometime. We need to take some deep breaths. In through our nose like we're smelling a flower. And out through our mouth like we're blowing out a candle. 
I think Edison and I are going to take <clears throat> one more deep breath. Now, <clears throat> now I think I'm ready for our day. All of your teachers and counselors and principals and therapists are all in their own homes doing their own schoolwork and keeping safe, just like you. So get your work done and then have some fun. Play games, go outdoors, hug someone you love, and then tell them that you love them. I love you, Edison. Bye for now.